Hi, this is Nick Atkinson, Contributing Editor of Singapore Business Review. Today I'm presenting the Malaysia Technology Excellence Awards, celebrating the best, the most innovative, the most exciting technology initiatives in Malaysia. Winning in the Digital for Engineering and Industrial Construction categories is Gamuda Engineering's Indiram Bahad, and I am joined today by its Executive Director, technologist Lim Hui Yan. Hui Yan, thank you so much for joining me, and congratulations for winning. Thank you, Ni. It's our honour to be the award recipient of these two categories. Similar to your experience in collaborating with colleges to set up a BIM Academy for the professionals, what is the role of academia in building technology of the future? Bridging the gap between industry and academia in terms of research and development and getting our future generation ready for the game. Part of our blueprint when we first set up the digital IBS ecosystem is not just about bringing in the technology. Most importantly, we want to upskill the local workforce for the construction industry in the digital era. The focus is on upskilling data literacy and digital skills as key enablers for sustainable growth. A qualified and multi-skilled workforce with a strong foundation in science, technology and experience is essential in embracing the digitalization journey. Are there obstacles or challenges to digitizing the construction ecosystem? What are they and how can they be overcome? I think challenges and opportunities are just a fine line apart. Obstacles, I think, mainly are the mindset and resistance to change. Because the perspective is boxed up, the first thing everyone sees is the upfront cost and missing the life cycle advantage. Take a life cycle view, move the box away, and you will see the opportunities are there, line up, and tap. It is not unlike other innovations elsewhere in the world. It is down to conviction. The leaders in the group have to own it. They have to have the conviction and walk the talk with employees. That build up of conviction quite often comes from knowledge. When you know the subject matter, the buy-in is better. And from there, our people will see the benefit of having digitalization journey and move along with us, and they will love it. At a strategic level, we open our first digital IBS factory. This is not a precast factory to us. It is the digital manufacturing of our construction products with the digital ecosystem. The upfront cost investment is hefty, yes, but the outcome and spin-off are unprecedented. Zero construction wastage, 30% faster construction and enhanced productivity, and 65% reduction in reliance on low-skilled foreign labour. What technologies offers are limitless opportunities. For leaders across the world to emerge or to lead markets for the services of the future. This is the journey we are embarking on. After delivering about 5,000 homes, what is your next goal for the short and medium term? We have delivered more than 5,000 homes and still counting. And the opportunities with digitalization are limitless. We now have a robust digital ecosystem and a sustainable tech and construction savvy talent pipeline. We will continue to add value and bring in more AI, IoT, machine learning, which will further improve the workflow. Really. The opportunities are limitless. People talk about DFMA, Design for Manufacturing and Assembly, in the last few years. I will take that it is now the time for DFX, Design for Excellence and Sustainability. Being in the infrastructure business, we can clearly see that we can make the most impact in terms of concept planning and design. Here we focus on more efficient use of resources and greater commitment to the environment by minimizing or even eliminating waste and pollution by improving efficiency. We have a plan to expand overseas in countries where we operate. So in your company, how do you encourage the culture of innovation so that employees are motivated to come up with new and relevant ideas? If I may share my personal opinion, uh, my personal experience, Nick, back then when I first joined the industry, I had a small digitalization idea in mind to change processes and of course to address my pain point. I was skeptical back then thinking that my boss certainly would not buy my idea, but I still wanted to try my luck. So I submitted my proposal and out of my expectation, he actually took his time to review my proposal and added on comments how we can add value to that proposal and move on. And he said to me, Hui Yen, assemble your team and go ahead. Just give us a shout when you need. That's our culture. We welcome ideas across generation and across function groups. Our leaders really walk the talk in encouraging innovation. To us, we always have the psychological safety net to spur ideas and to give the team autonomy to challenge the norm. In Gamuda, we don't just deliver solutions. We use innovative engineering to invent them. To us, get ahead of the curve 
and innovate in within. How does the digitalization of the construction industry support sustainability? Construction responsible for more than 30% of global carbon emissions and nearly a third of all waste. The building construction industry can certainly help achieve climate goals and curb global warming by shifting to a circular economy model. Circular economy model here focus on more efficient use of resources again, more significant commitment to the environment, and our approach encompasses everything from design to construction to operation, maintenance, and eventually deconstruction. Everything I've just mentioned can be enhanced via technology advancement. Technology in terms of technology advancement and circular economy, it's just, a one, it's just a small part of the whole ESG effort. We have to ask ourselves where we can make the most impact. Hui An, thank you very much for joining me and many congratulations to you and your team once again. Thank you, Nick.